Hello guys, welcome again to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to talk about interaction modes. Okay, well, um, you can change your uh, interaction modes using this uh, little menu over here. Uh, by default we are on object mode. Okay, this is what we have talking during the last tutorials. And this is where you can select your object, move, rotate, scale and uh, do some other basic transformations you have also the edit mode uh, where we are going to do the 3d modeling process um, that make uh, the, the 3d object okay and this is important uh, i will uh, talk a little bit later during this tutorial because this is the one that uh, i want you to, to talk about in the next tutorials but first uh, just let me show you the other ones we have here the sculpt mode okay the sculpt mode is used um, in 3d modeling also okay but it mimics uh, how uh, a sculptor works uh, with clay uh, for example let me just remove this object let's add a new v-sphere okay and now let's go to the sculpt mode and as you can see I am sculpting the object okay the next one that I want to show you is the vertex paint okay basically in the vertex paint uh, you can paint um, colors to your model okay um, the colors that um, we want to paint our object will be saved in um, in each of the vertex of our model okay if you don't know what a vertex is a vertex is a point in 3d space we are going to talk about this in the next lesson um, another interaction mode that i want to show you is the weight paint mode okay um, it allows us to, to edit the influence of the bones to the skin object. Uh, basically, this is used for rigging characters or uh, character animation. Uh, it controls the relation between uh, the bones and the skin model. This is for uh, later, uh, not for now. We are not going to discuss this. And finally, the texture painting. Okay, texture painting allow us to paint an object for example using brushes uh, like we do on uh, other softwares like photoshop or krita etc the difference between this one and the vertex paint is that uh, a vertex paint uh, will save the texture uh, in this case you can save the texture in a raster image format uh, such as png or jpg Again, this is for us to discuss um, in later lessons. I am just talk about them now because I want you to have uh, some basic concepts. But the most important is this one, the edit mode. Okay, um, you can always change between the object mode and the edit mode in three ways. One of them is this one that we are using, using this little menu over here, okay, using this pull down list. Another one is the shortcut key that I think is the, mo the one that you are going to use most, okay. And another one is by selecting this um, little tab over here and click on model um, that's it for this tutorial um, just want you to notice that are a few of interaction modes that I have show you quickly but the most important ones and the ones that we are going to talk during the next lessons are the object and the edit mode the object mode we have already uh, talking about, about it uh, in the first tutorials and the edit mode we are going to talk about it in the next tutorials um, thanks a lot for watching uh, i hope to see you soon um, in the next lesson